everyone and welcome to today's episode of Daily Scuba News. So accidents in the water usually mean that you have a very long trip back to shore and then onto the hospital before you can get properly patched up. But Florida spear fisherman Mario Avila lucked out when he was bitten by a shark. That wasn't the lucky bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. He was bitten by a shark in the water only to be rescued by a boat full of nurses. Yeah, mm, some people lucky, pay for that. Lucky Mary. Oh, I don't want to know about that. Nursing parties, off the shore, everything's leaking. No. <laughs> Mario was spearfishing on scuba. I'm guessing that's legal near there. I think so. In Florida, I think you can spearfish on scuba. Okay. Anyway, spearfishing off scuba near... Oh, thanks, Mark. Uh, Key, Key Biscayne. Key Biscayne in Florida, uh, when out of nowhere, a bull shark took a liking to his left hand. He did have a rather tasty left hand. Uh, Mario pushed it away and its teeth <laughs> had torn, oh man, I should have read this story before we started. Anyway, it torn, you know, his hand and his chest. Yeah, I think it like bit him there and he went to push it away and the teeth just like raked everything. Mm. Owie. Anyway, he went back up to the surface. I was like, ooh, that's smart. Ooh, I'm gonna need a plaster for this. Salt water as well. Ooh, poor guy. Anyway, his friends waved for help uh, and the first boat to respond was one of Hot Shot Charters, who got Mario out of the water and when a team on board of nurses sprang to action to stem the bleeding. Yeah, so the news reported that Mario said the bull shark that attacked him was 20 feet long, uh, which is either a misquotation, uh, very poor measurement, or just a really wrong species because bull sharks grow to around seven, maybe eight feet long. So 20 feet is a bit... Of a Are you stretch. saying that, um, that the males, every male... <laughs> water does magnify things underwater. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, and, and the media have never been known to misquote things Course before. Um, anyway, Mario said, I've been fishing underwater for 20 years and all my life I've never seen one that big. Basically, he's he talking me, about the shark. Yeah. yeah, still the shark, 20 feet long. Um, he told CBS News Miami. Um, yeah, I don't know about it that. Uh, anyway, a 20 minute boat journey got Mario back to shore where he's then handed over to paramedics uh -huh. who got him to hospital. That's really bad. Why did you laugh at that? Hand? <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as, many, uh, as with many in water injuries, there are plenty of blood, of course. So the nurses quite possibly saved Mario's life while Ka Kaylee Evans, an employee of the boat charter, <laughs> runs him off with a hose. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure why that's kind of what, that's all the, the report said. I presume there was a more intense reason why, but yeah, from, from what I read, they just Surely like that would like them. make, that would make it worse as well. Yeah, because you kind of want to let the blood clot, yeah. so you don't want to spray, spray it with it. water. I mean, yes, you want to get all the like salt water and all the nastiness out, but the, the way they wrote it, it was just like spraying them down. Like, oh, oh, can yeah. you not bleed on my deck, please? Yeah, like I do my dog after a muddy walk, you just spray him down. <laughs> <laughs> so this was an unchar oh, really uncharacteristically, no. Uncharacteristically huge bull shark. A never before seen king of the bull sharks, I reckon. 20 I reckon. feet long, he was over twice the average length of a bull shark. Yep. King of the bull sharks. I'm thinking it was something else. Surely they can just, just do a thing on the bites. Maybe. From what I saw, it was, it was mostly localized to his hand. Yeah. So I'm not sure if there's enough pattern to, uh, to, to gauge get it, the size. Gauge the size. All right, well, they'll find out. They'll I'm find sure they'll out. They'll find out. Or, you know, did, did Mario just misjudge the size of the shark? Yes, probably. Actually, do you know what was a great white? He survived the Great White Shark attack. Oh, Florida, that, I think you do see some in the Gulf. No, it happened. It, that, yeah, that's yeah, how it happened. happened. You were there. Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I was the shark. I was dressed up. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about uh, spearfishing on scuba? Mm, let's have a chat about it in the comments. And what do you think? Do you actually think that the shark was 20 foot tall? Yeah, that's how it stands up, or wide length, whatever. That is how we measure sharks. It is. Stand up! Take him out of the ocean. It's like, look, get on your flippers, your oh. fins, your back fins. Oh. Come on, mate. Oh. 
Go on, no, you got to lean up. <laughs> That's how they do it. They lean him up against the wall. There's a guy with a ladder and he's just got a pen and he put them and a book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to make sure it's straight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's how tall you are. That's how they do it. <clears throat> and you can't say we don't. They don't. <laughs> Actually, you can. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I apologise for me on this video. And um, get well soon, Mario. But yeah. also, he said he's never diving again. It's, it's scared him out of the water. I don't know, is that a good thing? If you're scuba diving on, if you're spearfishing on scuba, that means more fish are going to be. True. I, less no, because he said that he, he'll just be um, fishing with his rod. I kind of prefer spearfishing because there's less ghost gear and it's a bit more targeted. That's true. It's just a random hook. Rook, yeah. Who knows? Anyway, Who knows? if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share it, and smash that bell icon to stay up to date with all things scuba diving. Thank you for watching, and as always, safe diving. No! And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Can't believe you hijacked. <laughs> you hijacked my words. You were taking your time. I was taking your time. It's that time of year again. That's right, the Diver Awards are back, people. Now, this year is a little different for us. We're, of course, up for Dive Retailer of the Year. So if you love our website, think our customer service team is plain awesome, and of course, enjoy our advice and review videos, we would love to have your vote. And as well, thanks to our Mark One Dive Torch, we are now in the Product of the Year category. So if you have purchased the Mark One Dive Torch, or or if you've just fallen in love with it, then please feel free to vote for that as well. To cast your vote, just click on the link in the comments. Thank you. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.